Okay, so this is just going to be a very quick video showing you how to set up the SCADA Protect, which is a game blacklisting system which will allow you to blacklist players themselves, players and their friends, uh, groups, and also players uh, with an account under a certain age. So um, you can blacklist a whole group, which will be all the members of that group. If they join, they'll be kicked. Uh, obviously, a player is just blacklist that player, or you can blacklist that player and their friends. But if any of that's if any of that player's friends join the game, it'll kick them. And then the minimum age thing is just for alt accounts. So you can make it so that if an account joins and the account was only made 20 minutes ago, it'll be kicked. Um, so how you get it is it's on the SCADA inventory. Um, and it's just free. There's no licensing or anything. It's completely free. Um, you just pop it in. You'll have this SCADA Protect Loader, which is obfuscated. There's nothing you need to touch in there. And then config. Now, the config is where all the config is done, surprisingly. Webhook URL is for the Discord webhook. So this is because this can send notifications to a Discord server when things happen. Um, so I'll show you how you get that. So if you... Uh, yeah, if I just... One sec. Uh, so to create a Discord webhook... Um, you just go onto the Discord channel that you wanted to report into, edit the channel, go into webhooks, um, I'll show you now actually, uh, go into webhooks as you can see, and then uh, you create a new webhook, it'll give you all this, and then you basically need to get this URL here, copy it, click save, and you just paste that in between those two speech marks, and then that'll allow this bot, the sorry, the SCADA Protect, to send messages to your Discord server, kind of as a bot. Um, then, also one little thing, don't let anyone get this URL. When the game starts, the SCADA protect or delete this config file so no one can get this, but do not share this with anyone. If anyone gets that URL, they can send messages in your Discord server as the bot, so it's not a good idea to share that. Log all. Oh, that was a good voice crack. Log all, basically, if you've got to set that to true, it'll tell you whenever anyone joins the game. So if someone joins the game and they're not blacklisted, it'll still tell you in the Discord server. Whereas if that sets to false, all you'll get is notifications when people get kicked. Branding is just where it puts a little thing in the bottom left corner, protected by SCADA Protect. You can enable that, disable it, whatever you want to do. Minimum account age is in days. That's how old you want the minimum account age to be. So seven days means that if an account is over seven days old, it'll be allowed in the game. But if the account is younger than seven days, it won't be. It'll be kicked. So, there you go. And you can also set a message for what you want those accounts to be told when they're kicked. Player blacklists are simple. Just an ID, which is the Roblox user ID. Name, which isn't actually required. It's just for your reference. Kick message, which is what you want them to be told when they're kicked. Allow friends, if that's set to false, it'll kick their friends. Anyone who's friends with this user, when they join the game, they'll get kicked. And then you can also set a separate message for their friends. Group blacklist, pretty similar. Group ID, uh, name, which is again just for your reference, and the kick message. Now, I'll just quickly show you how you get IDs. So, um, you see this is a group. The ID is in the URL, it's right here, that 5791519. That is the group ID for SCADA control. You can do it with any group. Just go to their page on Roblox and it's there in the URL. Then for players, it's here. So this is just Connor's profile. And you can see it there. Users, his ID. You just need to copy that, pop it in there, and then they're blacklisted. Now, how you add more, because you can add an unlimited number of players and groups, is you just get all this, copy, new line, paste, and then change that one to a two. And if you're doing another one, change that two to a three, etc, etc, as you go up. Um, so you can have as many as you want, each their own kick message and all that. So, yeah, there you go. Um, one thing I should mention is sometimes when you go into, if you go to test this in studio, sometimes because of the way studio works, you actually, the player joins the game before any scripts get a chance to start. So this will not work every time in studio. But if you go and test it in a game, when you're actually playing a game, it does work every time because uh, it gets a chance to start up before a player joins. So, yeah, that's that. If you need any help um, setting up or anything, get in touch. As I say, it's completely free, but it's obfuscated, obviously. Um, but, yeah, there you go.
enjoy